Photocolorization, frame interpolation, and super resolution have been a really hot topic recently. They work really well as a media restoration tool. For example, videos such as A Trip Through New York City in 1911 demonstrates how well these technologies can perform in just under 8 minutes. To expand on the field of media restorations, today I'm going to introduce you Blind Face Restoration via Multiscale Component Dictionaries, short for DFDNet. This AI provides solutions that most super resolution would struggle with. For instance, image super resolution AI like Waifu2x normally just upscale the entire image, which in hindsight may serve its purpose but actually still leave out some problems, like creating the details that were never there before, which is impossible and remember that Pulse video where it can in a way upscale images from pixelated faces or super low resolution? Well, it basically used a matching technique to guess the upscale resolution with style again, which is a really fascinating way of creating new details. So similarly, what DFDNet does is that it segments more visually detailed parts of the face like the eyes, mouth, and teeth and guide the upscaling AI by matching the similar features in low resolution and use the train model to provide a matching guess of how it would look like in higher resolution and clearer details. And this is called reference-based face restoration. So to clarify, the generated details may not necessarily mean someone has a white mole on top of their head. It just took the whole image in without the context that it might be a damaged printed photo. And the same goes for the pupil color too. Maybe because of the reflection, the eyes would turn out brown instead of blue here, while normally PewDiePie's eyes are both blue. So not only the less significant visual details are upscaled, but also the highly complex visual details are created at the same time, which surpasses what normal image upscaling can do, and it produces more convincing facial upscale results. In my tests, I stole some images from r slash old school cool and attempted to restore faces on different kinds of old photos, from color to black and white. A really obvious takeaway here is that AI cannot pick up really distorted faces, faces with too much exposure, profile views, and blurry basic facial features and structures. Probably will work well on polls though. Probably will work well on polls though. Dun, 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 dun. Okay, while well, following up the colored images, most of them are really successful at upscaling the faces and it's generally really satisfying looking at all of them. However, the physical damage of the photos may be considered as facial features. So Terry Crews and his teens may look like Terry Crews in 2019. And look at this, even this can improve PewDiePie's camera quality. And look at his beautiful blue eyes. Just like every other test results, it just shows how useful are these segmentation and estimation when used in photo restoration. For black and white photos, this ain't colorization AI, so it makes sense that it just outputs the original color. It does what it's supposed to do, and everybody likes that. And here's an interesting test. Which one would be better, upscaling before colorizing or upscaling after colorizing? And as I speculated, colorizing first then upscaling will work better and become more natural, as sophisticated details are able to be regenerated accurately and upscaled. And if you colorize it after it, it upscaled, the colorization might not look as precise as upscaling first. That's it for today's video. If you want to know how to install this AI, I've made a video on my second channel. And join my Discord if you encounter any problems, or you can just join without any problems. I also recently started a Patreon. Check it out along with my Twitter if you are interested. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you all next time.